Hello, my lovelies. How are we doing today? Oh, very good, very good, very good. I've had a little bit of coffee. And honestly, I didn't sleep very well last night because there were people outside yelling and screaming. One dude, I think, lost his dog. But then it sounded like he was having a conversation. Like, well, screaming a conversation. And I don't think dogs can talk back, so that might not have been what that was. And then there was another dude who I guess his girlfriend cheated on him. And so he was drunk and in the middle of the street on FaceTime with her, actually. And um, cussing her out and yelling obscenities into the night. And then, to top everything off, a helicopter, a ghetto bird, came really low and flew by really fast. And I thought the building was going to fall down. Not, not the best night's sleep, but fuck that. We're talking about our creative wrap-up today. And I have um, a few things to talk about here. Um, I guess we'll start high and go low. I um, put out 65 videos in the month of August. Um, oh, and that does not count. Li that does not count live streams. And I was doing at least two live streams a week. So if we say there were four weeks, then that's another eight. So like 72 ish, 71, 72. That's not bad back to those videos over 20 of those videos were for crew members uh, mainly the anarchy crew because of the lessons and stuff in there but um, for crew members nonetheless so um, that's awesome I'm glad that I'm able to give more content to members that was actually one of the reasons why I would didn't do it for so long because I was afraid I wouldn't have enough to give and um, obviously that is not true um, I am very giving uh, apparently um, so other things I did this month I finished my short film The Welcoming and it actually screened last night and I didn't go so um, I'm still waiting to hear uh from my buddies over there how it did um i'm expecting it to have done poorly um not received well is my guess um so we'll see and if you wanted to see it again that's um members can see that oh um i worked on rewriting or doing a completely different edit of one of the stories in bacon here so that's cool so that will be um done hopefully bacon i could get bacon done within the next couple months and get that out that would be great uh what else do we have here oh the new short story that um i have been inspired to write it's actually probably going to be more novella length um it's interesting because when I write fiction, it goes like one of two ways. It's either really pulpy or really autobiographical. And this one is like definitely in the middle. And so I'm having this like weird, like not knowing exactly how to move forward with it. Um, so I'm hoping that... I can just go and um, did it yeah I, I think that's the best way to do it to just move forward and go I put out blood rag number two which is right here I'm hanging them up now I'm liking that and um, so that's good what else we got um, I put together my Los Angeles chat book here this is poems about Los Angeles. You're going to be hearing a lot about this because I'm going to try and experiment. I'm going to see 
Maybe I will tell you the experiment at the end of the month. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to hold it out and, and tell you my results. Because it's got to be a blind study. If I tell you what the fuck it is, you guys... Yeah, it's fucked if I do that. So, put this together. That's awesome. Um, I can't remember if I actually put Bunny's chapbook together at the end of July or the beginning of August. I can't remember, but here it is anyway. Um, and then I also released the final three, not the final three, but the rest of the type books. So type fast, type daily, type drunk. Um, those got released in August. So that's cool. And um, let's see, what else did we do here? I only wrote eight poems this month. That doesn't seem like very much, especially for me. And that actually doesn't seem accurate now that I'm thinking about it. So I'm going to have to look. And it's not going to be a lot more. Like at most, it'll probably be like 15. But um, I might have wrote them on my phone and not put them on um, Scrivener because I just looked at Scrivener. One of the reasons why I wasn't writing as much is because of one of the other things I'm going to talk to you about. But we're going to wait about that until I finish this. I also, for um, Patreons of the um, Postcard Plus here and above, I did the um, postcard with a piece of my artwork and a poem on the back and um, mailed those out so that was cool and do I get into the, oh and another reason why um, I wasn't writing as much of my stuff like my poetry and everything like that is because I've been writing a ton of content for the poetic anarchy course and the anarchy career stuff um, and going through that and spending a lot of time on that but um, there is another reason and that reason is I have been in the process of trying to open a actual brick and mortar bookstore slash venue um, in the LA area. I was going really hard on it this month. I've been thinking about it for a bit and I actually alluded to it a couple times over the last few months here. But in looking at the things I want it to be, I have realized that, that A, I can't do it right now um, financially unless I were to figure out a way to do a loan or do like a crowdfunding thing. And the reason why I'm like like down on the crowdfunding thing for this is because it's like a community thing like for this community and I would feel really strange asking for donations from people all over the world to help the community here um cause honestly I, I really think I would probably be able to pull that off on a crowdfunding platform but um it just doesn't seem it doesn't seem right and um a lot of the places that are kind of kind of similar to what I want to do are um non places and there's actually quite a few of those but because they're non um, they are not open very much. They are open for just a few hours a week. And um, to me, that kind of defeats the object of having the place there in the first place. And I'm not trying to like talk shit on how people run their business or I guess not business at that point. But um, it just seems strange. Like, I don't know, like, I don't want to say do better because now I'm coming off like a dick, but I am not digging the idea of doing a nonprofit. Like, 
I understand the reasons why you would want to do a nonprofit, especially in California, because the tax rates are so high. If like if that's the case, like why are you doing it? Because it's not like it's not like these things are like charities, you know. It's not like um, I don't know. See, now I'm getting all fucking into the fucking weeds of shit again. So anyway, um, there are certain ways I can go about doing this and the hardest part for me is is that probably the best way to do it is going to take me some time and I am the most impatient motherfucker on the planet so knowing that that is something I have to do is uh it's really hard it's like trying to tell like I don't know like a wild dog not to bark it's like um yeah, good luck with that, you know. I don't know. So, that is something I've been wanting to do and have been trying to put together. And um, I think maybe one or two of you um, have known about it. I, like, brought it up to you asking for advice and stuff like that. Um, but I just, I, I don't see a way to do it. And, dude, I have been fucking like coming up with every ridiculous way that it could work and um I can see a lot of ways I can open it right away but they don't look sustainable if I'm gonna go whole hog on something like this I want to make sure it's something that is going to last and not be something like yeah I'm open for three months and then I'm not and I'm having a fire sale oh no not a fire sale uh, okay, you guys, like four people got that joke. Um, but anyway, so that was my month. There wasn't a ton of stuff that I did. Um, I didn't do any painting, so that's kind of weird. But um, there was a lot of groundwork for a lot of other projects. So um, usually when that happens, the next month goes really, really well. And we are now in that next month. So let's see how well, really, really well is. Okay. So what did you guys do? Um, what was your creativeness? Did you have goals? Did you hit those goals? Um, what's the scuttlebutt, guys? You know, how'd you do? So let me know down below. And um, I will see you guys in a minute doing my September creative to-do-do's, okay? So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career of the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video, and if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.